Thank you for joining us today on another installment of Frost and Sullivan's exciting podcast series highlighting key disruptive technologies, growth opportunities, economic trends, new business models, industry convergence, emerging geographies and much more. I am Manu Tiwari, program manager with the industrial research team and I'll be talking about the growth of tankless water heaters in India. These are instant water heaters wherein the flow of hot water is uninterrupted and is independent of the capacity. The advantages offered by tankless water heaters include potential energy savings in the long run, less space requirement, better efficiency with no standby heat loss, and better longevity. The major restraints for growth of tankless water heaters in India are they are expensive in comparison to the water heaters with tank. They also require continuous flow of electricity, which may act as a restraint in regions which face power cuts. People often confuse tankless water heaters with instant water heaters, which is also a different in the growth of the product segment. The market size of tankless water heaters for financial year 2018 in India was INR 15.6 crore. Backed by strong residential demand, they'll grow at a cumulative average growth rate of 51.7% during the next five years to reach INR 125 crore in financial year 2023. Though currently residential segment dominates, the demand will also arise from commercial segment, including high value installations. There are six companies currently operating in this segment in India. Venus Home Appliances, having a strong brand image, stood as the market leader with almost 44% of the market share. Steibel, a German company which offers tankless water heaters at a premium price range, is at the second position with 12% of total market share. Cascade Electro, a Coimbatore-based company offering low to mid price range products, occupy 9% of total market share. Other companies include RR Electric, Aqua Green Solutions and Clark, contributing to balance 35% of the total market. Moving on to the opportunities for this market, rise in furnished residential and commercial projects will create demand for energy efficient products and hospitality is expected to see highest uptake in commercial segment. Urban and semi-urban cities provide the largest potential and demand from tier 2 and tier 3 cities will emerge in the long run. Currently, western parts of India dominate the sales of tankless water heaters and therefore the companies must expand regional presence by partnering with distributors in other parts of India. Focus of the company should be on promotion, advertising and effective after-sales service support. Effectively communicating the advantages that tankless water heater offers, the payback effect in terms of energy savings and efficiency it will have on businesses shall be crucial for the product's acceptance in the future. On that note, I hope you have enjoyed this session. Please join us for future podcasts and become a member of Frost & Sullivan's Leadership Council by emailing us at digital at the rate frost.com. Thank you for your time.